Welcome to the latest installment of a series that we like to call That Leslie Sound. In this series, we're going to attempt to cover every Leslie pedal on the used in the new market. If you want to know more about what pedals are in the series, click on the card above to watch the series opener. And if you want to know what That Leslie Sound is, click on the card that will take you to a YouTube playlist that you'll hear many famous songs that use That Leslie Sound. Welcome to the series. <laughs> In today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we are featuring the Microvent by Neo Instruments. And the Beard's going to tell you about it. Yeah, this is a pretty exciting episode for us because when we started putting together this whole Leslie series, uh, we reached out. One of the first companies I reached out to was, uh, actually the first company I reached out to was uh, Neo Instruments because they made uh, the ventilator and also the Mini Vent 2, which is a really popular Leslie pedal. And I've been dying to get my hands on it, and it was one I thought, you know, we can't do a Leslie series without including um, Neo, because they're like the Leslie company, right? They do a lot of this stuff. So he was kind enough to write back and say, look, he, li he liked the idea of the Leslie series. He was willing to send us this, and then dropped a secret. Hey, but shh, don't <laughs> tell anybody, I have two more Leslie pedals coming out. Um, do you want to do those? And of course our answer was... <laughs> yes, please. Yes, yes, we really <laughs> would like to do those. Um, and so this whole series kind of ended up being kind of put on hold until he had those ready to go and stuff because we wanted to make sure we had those to involve him. And so anyway, yeah, so what did he send us? He sent us the micro vent, and there's actually two micro vents. There's the micro vent 122 based after a 122 Leslie with rotating horn and rotating bass baffle. I guess that's what you call it. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Leslie Microvent um, 16, based after the Leslie, the uh, Vibratone Fender. Uh, that, that's a whole other, right? Fender built this, and then it you know, was bought out by, or Leslie built it, bought out by Fender, whatever. I'm saying too much, and PJ's getting mad at me. <laughs> um, single 10-inch speaker, vertically mounted, no horn in that one. That's going to be another episode. So you know what to do if you want to catch that other episode right all right so let's talk controls real quick uh we have a speed knob a distance knob a ramp knob a blend and a three-way toggle switch on this speed's pretty self-explanatory all the way to the left slow speed as you roll it up we get nice and fast um and everything in between the distance knob is how closely the amp would be mic'd so if you go all the way to the left, this is a microphone far away from the amp. So it's giving that sound coming out of the amp time to kind of overlap a little bit. So you get less of a throb. And then as you go to the right, you're pushing the mic up against the amp, which gives it less time and you get more of a throb to the sound. Go down to the ramp. Uh, the ramp knob is how fast you go between the two speeds. So you can set it, you can set two different speeds and how fast you go between them. And then the blend knob, the blend knob is pretty uh, ingenious, I think. You know, hats off to Neo for this because they uh, realized that, like, guys like David Gilmore and Steve Ray Vaughan, the way they got the sound they got when they used a Leslie was that they didn't just use a Leslie, they also had another amp on stage. And so they were blending a clean and a Leslie together. And they put this blend knob in. If you go all the way to the left, it's just a dry signal. And then as you bring it to the right, you're blending in the amount of Leslie with the dry until you get all the way to just Leslie. So for guys that carry one amp and want to have that kind of sound, mm -hmm. great idea. All right, and so then there's a the three-way toggle too. So the three-way toggle in the up position is your fast speed, middle is stop, and then the bottom position is slow. And so what this allows you to do is to push that bypass button and hold it for two seconds. Then we see it start to blink, and now we're going over to whatever the setting is on the switch. And that seems like a lot, but it's not all. <laughs> right. Oh wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. 
There are global settings that can be accessed that will allow you to pick five different behaviors of the switch. So, for example, if you want the Leslie pedal to be on all the time because you're using it with a loop switcher, and then to be able to use the switch to just go between fast and slow, you can do that. You can do latching and non-latching. So that's a pretty nice feature. There's uh, the ability to change it between um, true bypass and buffered bypass. And there's also, in the global settings, the ability to go between a zero and a minus three dB uh, volume output. And there might be actually some more to that. And so what we've decided to do is focus on the sounds in this episode and then come back later and dive into the global features. Because the global features are the same for both pedals, just to do maybe a separate episode that would just get into the global features. Um, I believe these pedals are not coming out till January 2020. So nobody's going to be dying to get the, their hands on those global features right now anyway. But... Uh, we'll definitely have it out there before he can get the pedals in your hands. So with that, I think PJ is going to play. I'm going to move through the uh, speed knob, the distance knob, and the blend knob. And just kind of go left, middle, right, just to give you an idea of how they change. And then near the end, we'll start doing some of the slow down and the speed up stuff. And I'm going to keep it on the stop position. Um, and maybe play with the ramp so you can see how fast it goes to stop as we move that knob. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> So that second to last time, I moved it to slow. When I told you to keep playing through it, yeah. moved it to slow so we could get it going in slow and then back to the fast. And then the other times I went to stop. So Such a great sound appeal. <clears throat> you know, one of the things that we're going to play with when this video is over is taking the blend all the way to just the dry signal and turning the pedal on and off. Because I swear it sounds better with the pedal on. Yeah. Oh. With the, even with the even with the effect off. Right. Yeah. No, it's good. It's a nice pedal. And when you turn it on, and you know, we didn't do that. Keep that one second. Let's uh, 
Why don't you play a couple notes and we'll turn it on. turn it on you just get that like oh this is nice <laughs> like i'm a happy place right yeah, that's right so um up next the mini event 16 mm -hmm. we're gonna do basically the exact same episode probably the exact same playing uh that way if you want to ebay like a and b the two episodes and hear with the difference in the sounds as you can um other than that i think we will play out in a minute i think you're gonna hand that one back to me I'm actually going to throw some delay and some overdrive on it, and we're going to do like some lead sounds with it, see what that's like. Uh, <coughs> I, admittedly, I love... One of the things that Warren Haynes does is to turn on the uh, Leslie pedal over top of his lead tone, and it's mm -hmm. just... No, it's great. Yeah, nice sounding thing. So I love that. Anyway, please subscribe if you want to see the next episode. Uh, please subscribe if you don't want to see the next episode. <laughs> but we know you do because these are amazing. Yeah. Um, and we've been blown away by the subscriber count. Thank you for everybody that's been watching the videos. We really appreciate that. And, you know, stop by Facebook, stop by Instagram, and uh, check us out there too. And with that, I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Thank you.